All right, YouTube. Uh, thought I'd give you an update on the fishing here with this weather and stuff. The river's messed up right now, so I'll do a little bit of cooking. Update you on the well, river forecast with the rain and all that here. But we could cook a catfish stew today, and them right there, that's the bony parts out of the catfish. I done cut that up into boneless nuggets to put in the stew. But I don't like to throw nothing away, so I'll keep them bony parts there. And they'll go into the, uh, I'm going to fry up some of them. And that's what uh do with them bony parts of the fish to keep from throwing it away. I don't like to waste anything when I uh, clean a deer or do a fish. Anyhow, we could try to get in a video and update you on what's going on with the fishing and Maybe the chickens I'll chin a little bit. Daddy. But I'm cooking the uh, fish stew here in the slow cooker. And it's down to a little simmer in there. I got it on low. I'm chopping up some bell peppers and stuff here now. To go in there. I'm going to chop up me some onions. And I done boil me some little slices of bacon for a little while. And I'm going to drop it in there with taters is done in there. I diced up the potatoes. Got them in there, but I'm gonna um, drop that bacon in there in a little while and let it cook. Go ahead and dice my onions up to go with that bell pepper, and get my hot sauce and stuff out. Get all of it prepared. Grace couldn't wait on my cooking. She broke into the seafood. She opened up a can of sardines. I didn't like it. <laughs> And they got the, um, what is it, the chili chili peppers in them. She don't like it with that chili pepper flavor. I don't like the sardines. I don't have uh, tomato sauce. She likes the, a lot of the um, sardines in the Philippines comes in the tomato sauce. You want that? But I like the ones in the Louisiana hot sauce like or the original soybean oil. And the mustard sauce is okay with me sometimes. I pretty much eat any sardines that... Except for the uh, <coughs> the ones with the stuff that she just opened. I don't, I don't think it. Uh, she don't lie. She's getting hers out. Show the front of it. Move your hand. Hers are the ones with the tomatoes in it. Tomato sauce. You got to pull. I don't have energy. You know, I'm not feeling good. Yeah, she ain't feeling good today. I'm having to do the cooking by myself and trying to fry catfish, cooking that stew right there beside it. Got my onions chopped up over there. Okay, this is tastes good. It's better than your sardines. And she ordered them there from the Philippines. She can get them online, so she go online and order them. A lot of people won't eat sardines, okay. but I love sardines. I'll take the regular sardines in the... Uh, Soybean mm -hmm. oil, and I'll eat them with grits in the morning time sometimes. It's good. But uh, we can finish cooking this catfish stew here. I'm getting ready to put the bacon and stuff in there. And I'll wait the last, the uh, next last, put the onions and stuff in there, and then we'll add the catfish. <laughs> Grace, Grace might not feel good, but she couldn't help it. She is. Opening up crab legs there now <laughs> to put in the fish stew. She wanted her some crab legs. I, I got that fish stew over there smelling good. She's getting the crab legs out of there now to put in there. Be the whole thing? Unless you want to cut them in two, they still froze, but they'll cook quick. I don't know if they're going to shrink. Right. They won't shrink that much because we got it in that slow cooker, but it, that slow cooker is turning on high with boil. don't have any skin. Getting them taters done a little bit quicker because I just put the bacon in there. Yeah, you probably want to break them crab legs in half though. Because here in America, we got um, some of us as a hungry people. And some of them will go there, and when they take a dip in there, dig and scrape until they get all the meat out, the pile they played up with meat. Now, I ain't trying, I'm just being honest now. 
Dumby now? Yeah, yeah. That should be oh, a plenty. No, that's a plenty right there. But that's why when I cook a perlo, y'all probably heard me say before this I die. This will be all big. Yeah. That's the what? Snow crab legs? Yeah, it's the Alaskan snow legs. Yeah. But yeah, that's why a lot of time I dice my fish up so small and stuff when I have time and all that. That way everybody gets a good bit of meat out the pot whenever they get. Not trying to make nobody mad, hurt nobody's feelings, nothing like that. I just want to try what they say. The crab in there with the catfish stew. It's better if we have a shrimp. Well, that's the thing about a catfish stew or a perlo. You can have it your way. Just like Burger King. But anyhow, when you get back, I'm going to put them catfish in there as soon as them taters get done and we'll check them off. Uh, crab legs there but it shouldn't take them long to cook it's to cool it back off since they was cold grace should have thought of that earlier but we'll cover it back up too much. just only one boil and yeah you to put them in there about the same time i put the bacon in there they, crab legs is easy to cook they cook quick but i don't put the catfish in that's the last thing i put in my stew when i put in over. Yeah, get the lid back on there where it build up pressure again. All right, we'll check back in in a minute. Grace couldn't help it. She grabbed a couple of handfuls of that, that boneless uh, catfish nuggets or strips that I'd cut up, and she threw that in the frying pan over there. She wanted her some uh, fried catfish with no bones in it. She just couldn't take it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just wanted my boneless catfish. All right, we've got them taters done and stuff. Now we mixing the onions Hi. in there and the bell pepper. Grace is fixing to pour Hi. all that catfish in that I got cut Hi. up in the nuggets. And then, then we can let it cook hi. a while. <laughs> but they. That's some um, pieces of um, nice. crab, crab meat. Grace hi. has loaded it up with crab meat. Say hi. Nadine wants to say hi over there. She just can't help it. And that's Maria right there beside her. Maria's hiding behind the bush. Yes, I am. And, and Jimmy, Jimmy's hi. over here, and, and Jimmy's chowing down on some of that fried catfish. Uh -oh. Grace look like the bowl full that, there now, the pot that's full. The crab meat, Grace. No, that's real crab, crab there. That's molasca. I like that. The imitation crab. Yes. That's, that's good. real crab there. Yeah, it's good. Though. It's good. Well, we can cover it back up, but I'm fixing to put some of my sauce and stuff in there. And some of my seasonings and all that, whenever they ain't looking. And they'll never know what's happening, because I got to spice it up and give it a little bit of kick. <laughs> Alright, Grace, let's put the tomato paste in there. Thicken that juice up some. And if, there ain't enough, if the juice is too thick, we can always add water. And if it's too thin, we can always add another small can of tomato paste. But that's how I get mine to where, because I don't like my stew yeah. too runny, because if it's too yeah. runny, then your juice don't stick to your rice right. Do it. And if you want to eat it with bread, yeah. some light bread the next day, yeah. if your juice is too runny, then it messes your light bread up. But if you got that juice just right, it ain't too thick, it ain't too thin. That's it. That's it right. It's just right. It, well, it's got to heat up and kind of boil a little bit, and then you tell because that the made a paste to come apart in the stew as it boils. <laughs> but then we can add some more spices and stuff in a little bit. Before we get ready to eat, the, the, the little three string band is playing. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> one's on the drums, one's, one's on the keyboard, and the other one's over there on the guitar. 
Yeah, that's a fancy guitar right there. And the one on the drums, I don't know if that's Comanche, Apache, <laughs> Arapaho, Blackfoot. Yo, what? Your mama don't even know why she can sing, Nadine. My toes, my knees, my shoulder, my head, my toes. You, it's your turn. It's your turn. You need to sing too. Well, I don't. I don't think my viewers can take much more of this. I mean, I don't think the players can take much. They can think what kind of channel has he started now. Let me get back over here to the food. Oh boy, Grace is fixing the dig into that thing now. Grace, we have a saying here in America, it's called over the teeth and through the gums. Look out stomach, here it comes. And Jimmy's saying, hurry up, you holding him up. I'm, I'm way behind on getting this done. They tell me that I wanted the slowest cooks they ever seen for in their life. Or me and my cousin Dan. In the Philippines, they got a saying rice is life. Rice is life? That's the saying in the Philippines. Catfish didn't come too much apart, did it, Jimmy? Find a catfish in there? Yeah. There's chunks of catfish in there somewhere, and I put enough catfish in there. Yep. I know Well, you two, maybe the river will get down sometime in March. If not, we may get, oh, I could throw some of that Louisiana hot sauce on there. And Maria coming around here to fix hers. <laughs> Maybe that river get down oh, sometime in March, no. and we may get over there to check out the shad over there at St. Stephen's there one day on the um, Rediversion Canal. Check them out and see how they're doing. No, I need my picture. I didn't get to bring you an update on the chickens, but anyhow, we cooked and got it done here, and we'll check you out the next time, you two.